So sometimes when you update the uh, firmware settings on your 3D printer, in this case we're going to be looking at an X500, you can lose connection uh, to that printer over the Repetier server. So the first thing to look at um, is you want to access the Repetier server uh, from a computer and these network addresses here would be located on the printer. You'll notice that on most of the German RepRap 3D printers there's going to be two different addresses. The one that starts with the 169 is typically the IP address for the printer itself. Um, if you were doing a direct connection, there's two Ethernet ports on there. Um, by default, the printer is going to be set up uh, to pull a DHCP um, IP address, which will be something like this. It'll vary based on your, your printer, um, and you'll see it's going to open up on port 3344. So when we open that, that'll open up this dashboard. Typically, uh, that's going to remain the same when you update your firmware or not on the machine. If you can see this, this tells us that we've made connection to the internal computer or server inside. Now, the connection between that internal computer or server inside and the control board for the printer is kind of shown with this bar up here. So this can have three colors. Green, of course, is good. Well, so in this case, we're good. Red means we're disconnected. And a yellow means that we're sort of connected, but there's some type of a, uh, an issue there. So often when we update the firmware, you know, something gets lost in translation here. So um, we're going to go ahead and manually make this printer disconnect. So um, we're going to open up the printer settings here. So these are the printer settings for the X500. We're going to jump right to the connection area. Now here, um, we want to make sure that the baud rate didn't change, that none of these other areas changed. Everything should look the same. But as far as the ports go, um, there's lots of different ports here. And actually a couple of these, usually the first three or four of these work. Now, sometimes, for whatever reason, one of them um, is unable to make connections. So I'm going to scroll down here and just kind of pick a random one. What this is going to do is this is going to actually disconnect the printer. So we're going to see up in this area, we're going to see a disconnection. All right, so that looks red. So if I was to go back out here to like our home screen, this says, okay, hey, we're disconnected from the X500. So in this case, this might tell us that, uh, you know, there's some type of problem communicating uh, with the printer here. So the good news is that this is relatively easy to fix. So we'll go in here, we'll select printer settings, and then we're going to scroll down again to that connection. And we're going to look through these ports. Now, usually the first couple of these, like I said, are going to work for you. Um, you know, if you have one that is talking about the particular port you, you know that you've set it up for, whether that's the programming port um, or the normal port, you can select that. Um, so we'll select that one here real quick. We'll say save configuration. When that happens, you'll see it immediately begins to make a connection and then the connection is good. So if we back out here and look again, this is gonna be green. Uh, now, just to kind of give you an idea here, we can also select, um, for example, the next port here and we can save that configuration. It'll disconnect and usually it's gonna find that connection again and link right back up for us. There we go. So again, we can see if we go out here, we can control our X500. So from here, for example, if we wanted to, uh, let's say, begin heating up the hot end and the build plate, we can start to do that and we can see these temperatures are beginning to increase here. There we go. So these are going up. So we do have full control over the machine again. So the real thing you're looking for is this green sort of chain link up here. And that's telling us that we've got a good connection to the machine. All right, I hope that's helpful for you. Thank you very much.